Hello and welcome to Houston Legends. I'm Dr. Laura Murillo here on Cube 57. Thanks for joining us. As you know, we recognize Houston Legends here on our program. And today we have a Pasadena legend, none other than Mayor Jeff Wagner, who's joining us today. He's been a great friend of the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. Let's learn more about him. Thanks for being with us. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Well, thank you for coming out to Houston to, to uh, join us for this program and all the things that you've done to support the Houston Hispanic oh, Chamber of yes, Commerce. Well, let's start out a little bit for folks who may not know you. You were a police officer for many, many years at the as a teenager, right? 18, 19 Absolutely. years old? 19 years old. I joined yeah. the Houston Police Department at 19. Yeah. When I graduated the academy, what's funny is uh, before I went to work, I said, Mommy, would you go buy me some bullets? Because you had to be 21 to have bullets. Mm -hmm. So I came buy my own bullets to get to work. But um, that, that time, I spent 33 and a half years with the Houston Police Department, and I loved it. Each and every day. Mm -hmm. I did. I loved it. How did your mom feel about her son becoming a police officer? They were so proud. Um, both my brothers were police officers. And um, we had an um, a uncle that was a Houston police officer, and I always wanted to be him. Okay. So they, they knew exactly that's what I wanted to do. So They, they, saw, they saw that coming. Yeah, they, they were very honored. That, that. Well, speaking of which, tell us a little bit about your parents. What did they do growing up and as you were a child? Well, my dad worked in the plants right there in Galena Park, yes. uh, which is right by Pasadena. Um, and that's what, that's what he did. So. Yeah. And uh, your mom? She stayed home. She stayed home. Yeah, that, well, I, had, um, I had four brothers and a sister, uh -huh. and that was a full-time job. Oh, it sounds like <laughs> it. That sounds like it. Well, and so then at some point you leave the police and go on, and you're part of city council, and you do so many things in Pasadena. Right. At what point do you decide, I'm running for mayor? Well, being on council for two years, and the mayor, when it's time for the run for mayor, it was an open seat. And I, my whole life I've served, and I just wanted to serve. And being a council member, you can serve. But I knew being mayor, I could serve even a little more. You know? So I said, I'm going to run for mayor because I think I, I can do it. Yes. And so you just jumped in there and haven't looked back since. That's exactly right. Yes. We haven't looked back since. And I'm so proud of my administration. We have done so much in the last year and a half. I'm very proud of them. Well, talk to us a little bit about that. What are some of the things that you guys have accomplished? Well, thank you. Um, Right now, uh, we, we're doing $51 million of new streets and drainage throughout our city, and we're very proud of that. We're building a brand new police and fire academy, a brand new fire station, a brand new court building, mm -hmm. um, and there's many more projects going on. But yes. the biggest one that we're very proud of is after Harvey, we applied for a $105 million grant from FEMA, and we've already received the money. And what that means is 25 miles of new streets and drainage throughout Pasadena. And we are very happy about that. Yeah. It's very, very historic. Well, it absolutely is, especially given since the city of Houston is still trying to recoup so much money. Exactly. We're happy that Pasadena yeah. has been able to do so. What do you attribute that to? Well, we, we have an engineer that came up with this great plan. Um, if we remember, when we all voted for the bonds of, uh, of county for, for the floods, everybody voted yes for it because it was a good deal. But their main plan was take all the water from West Houston and get to the ship channel as fast as they could, which is a great plan, except for one thing. The lowest part of that is Pasadena, especially the north part of Pasadena. So our engineers sit down and looked at that and says, you know what, we need to lower our street with new drainage to make it channels to get the water, not in the houses, in the streets, down to where it needs to go. So that's the program he came up with. Him and my public works director and some other people came in. They laid out their map and stuff. And they wanted to apply for $58 million. Well, me not being an engineer, I realized that's not enough money. So I asked the head guy, I said, how much money do we really need? He said, we need at least $100 million. I said, why don't we apply for it? He said, it's the government. I don't think we'll get even 58. So we're asking for I said, no, no, no. Let's ask for $105 million. I said, we're going to get it. I just felt confident. I don't know why. But anyways, so... We applied for it. As we applied for it, I realized the way the government thinks and we think is two different ways of thinking. So I knew a man that worked in the government. I said, let me, let me pull him in. So we pulled him in. He goes, I can help you, but I need this other guy. So brought this other guy in. I used him along with our engineers, and they figured out a system that was a true system of how we can help people, and that's how we got it. And it's really amazing. Well, congratulations. Oh, thank you. For the uh, folks in Pasadena, they will all be better off oh, as a result a of doubt. this. Oh, without a doubt. I'm so excited. And it's not a Band-Aid. It's a real solution. It, it's a real solution. Yeah. Well, that's fantastic and much needed. Yes. Tell us your relationship with the county, with Houston. I, I imagine there's a lot of communication, especially when something occurs such as a Absolutely. natural disaster. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, 
my, myself and Mayor Turner, we get along very well. We, we, we talk a lot. Um, during after Harvey, we talked a lot. We, we put a bunch of strategies together. He called me in the middle of the night. He needed help at um, um, Dolby High School. And I was able to send some assistance there. So I worked very well with the city of Houston. And of course, the county, they, they, they always were good. They were good with everybody. So. Well, and we've noticed that, that there seems to be a lot of collaboration. Absolutely. At the end of the day, we're all better for it. It's all about teamwork. That's and right. once, you get the teamwork, once you get a team in play and everybody plays, yeah. you win. We're better. Well, we'll be right back. <laughs>